future physios and anatomy lovers. If dermatomes have ever felt like a tangled mess of letters and numbers, you are not alone. But today we are going to fix that in Doraemon style. I am Dr. Huma Ibrar and in this video I am bringing you a fun, unforgettable way to learn dermatomes using creative mnemonics, clear visuals and stories that stick. No more confusion, no more cramming. Just concepts right at your fingertips. So grab your notebook, maybe even some popcorns and let's dive into the world of dermatomes like never before. Let's make anatomy fun because learning should never be boring. Dermatomes made easy in Dermon style. So let's talk about dermatomes. What are the dermatomes? Dermatomes are the skin areas supplied by the sensory fibers of a single nerve root. Now think of each dermatome like a Doraemon gadget that covers and controls a certain skin area. Now why to learn or why to understand dermatomes? Crucial in diagnosing nerve root injuries used in neurological exams, aids in understanding spinal cord mapping, often confusing so we'll use mnemonics and cartoons to simplify. Mnemonic story overview Doraemon walks from head to toe using his gadgets to highlight each dermatome. Each gadget touches a specific zone, head to neck to arms, to chest, to abdomen, legs, feet, to perianal area. A fun journey, easy memory. So let's start with the cervical dermatome C2 to C8. First, let's learn about the C2 dermatome. Remember the C2 dermatome with the back of the head, that is the cap area. C3 dermatome is the neck area, collar shirt area. Remember it with the collar shirt area. C4, remember this with the shoulder pad. C5 is the lateral upper arm area, that is deltoid zone. C6, remember it with six shooter gun hits the thumb. It's a thumb area, C6 dermatome. C7 is the middle finger area, 7 in the center. This one is C8 little finger, 8 feet, pinky promise. Okay, next we are going to start thoracic dermatome T1 to T12 mnemonics. The first one is T1, medial forearm, T4 for inner touch, T4 is nipple area, T4 tip, T7 is the Z-foid process, T4 tip, tip of the Z-foid process, T10 is the umbilicus area, that is belly button, T12 is just above the hip griddle. Tip to remember the thoracic dermatomes that are easier dermatomes as thoracic dermatomes follow a horizontal belt-like pattern across the chest and abdomen. So here is the horizontal pattern of the thoracic dermatomes that are easier to remember. Now let's talk about the lumbar dermatomes L1 to L5. L1 is the inguinal region, L1 inguinal belt line, remember this region with the inguinal belt line. L2 is the anterior thigh, L2 lap area. L3 is the medial knee, L3 knee sees me. L4 is the medial leg and mellulus. Medial leg and medial mellulus. L4 for floor. L4 hits the floor. Medial leg to medial mellulus. L5 is the dorsum of the foot and lateral leg. L5 lift top of the foot to big toe. 
So here is the visual representation of L4, L5, S1 uh, dermatomes. So you can see that the L4 supplies the medial leg to the medial medullus and L5 supplies the lateral leg and the dorsum of the foot including the big toe. S1 supplies the uh, lateral side of the foot. Now coming towards the sacral dermatomes S1 to S5, S1 is supply, dermatome supplies the lateral foot, heel, outer posterior leg that is lateral back of the leg and sole S1 for step, small toe and sole. S2 supplies posterior thigh and medial back of the leg, S2 is sitting zone. S3 and S5, perianal region. S5, stop, toilet zone. So the S1, remember the S1 with the lateral back of the leg and S2 with the medial back of the leg. Here is the visual representation of S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, dermatomes. As, as you can see that the S1 supplies the lateral leg, thigh, S2 supplies the medial thigh and the leg that this is the posterior view of leg and thigh and S3, S4, S5 is for the toilet zone that is perianal area. Now to remember mnemonic for S2 to S5 is the sacral circle S2, S3, S4, S5. The sitting, imagine sitting on a ring or cushion that touches S2, that is upper, upper part of the ring, back thigh, S3, that is the mid part, buttocks, S4 and S5, center closer to the tailbone. S2 to S5, seat of sensation, sitting silently, soothes senses. Now it's the practice time, question and answer. Which dermatome corresponds to the thumb? You have to answer these questions in the comment section. The next one is which dermatome is found at the umbilicus level? T8, T10 or T12? Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe and share if this video is helpful. Remember me in your prayers. Thank <laughs> you.